Hi Leo, here's a general look at your solar chart for August 2008. Well, this is a very important month for you, Leo, uh, not only because this is the time of the year when the sun comes back into your sign, that's from the last week of July until the, third, uh, the end of the third week of August, but this year we have two eclipses. One is a solar eclipse on the 1st of August, so uh, people who have birthdays on that day or the day before or the day after are going to be feeling this eclipse energy with the sun turned right up over several months to come but for the whole sign in fact all of the zodiac signs are going to feel the eclipse energy depending on which area of the chart it's influencing for you leo um, it's all about image it's all about personal image uh, so not just you know your public image career and so on but it's it's about your health and well-being um, and how you uh, present your um, hopes and dreams and ideals and ideas to the world so on the one hand this is going to be over the next few months uh, uh, as they unfold a time for a self-improvement program uh, the fitter you are of course the more able you'll be to reach for the highest in life so no no more procrastinating there I guess uh, time for a makeover and a new image a new way of approaching the world uh, also an excellent period to reinvent how you present your abilities and skills to the world now the eclipse on the 16th of August in Aquarius your opposite sign means that you'll have to find a way to dovetail your originality your creativity your uniqueness um, within some sort of uh, organization or group of people um, so uh, there will have to be a, a, a feeling uh, of cooperation collaboration and compromise coming in there um, and also with partners so actual partners that you have at the moment or potential ones that you're you're, tr you're trying to get uh, to cultivate um, in, in your private and working life uh, over the months to come. Finding out what someone else's needs or ideas are and balancing yours with theirs. Maybe uh, for some of you, you, you're trying to promote something, market something, uh, maybe it's yourself or something that you've created, but either way it's joining together with others, um, pulling together uh, or, or, or perhaps you are meeting with others of like mind for some reason and this can be you know um, over the internet even so whatever it is um, that's going to be a period when you need to um, collaborate and pull in the same direction uh, perhaps with someone whose expertise you admire and you can learn from also it's important to understand what people want you know in business what the market wants and setting the ball in motion over the next 12 months now for August in particular well this is your month of course uh, and and time for you to really get into the swing of things this is when things start to take off by the way over eclipse days that's to say the 1st of August and the 16th of August it's not a good moment to get very busy then with bringing in sweeping changes um, just let the energy bed in a little bit before you start getting um, active with things um, you know the 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 uh, this kind of energy is just going to manifest in situations around you so you will be able to take the cue from the universe herself um, so over the month of August well the solar eclipse energy is really going to magnify um, everything and uh, it's as well to sen sense how you can use that most wisely um, others are going to like your style uh, your personal style you know you'll be appealing uh, to maybe somebody that you want to get friendly with or um, something that you're um, may maybe you're applying for a job or maybe a loan although things financial get a lot easier uh, uh, from the sixth of the month I mean that's the time that you should be um, 
if you do need help in, in that way, which you probably do because finances are a real sore point for you at the moment um, and have been for a number of months. Then from the 6th of the month when Venus is gracing your money area, uh, that's the time where the uh, universe could bring you very lucrative connections. But, uh, you know, you've got to put the effort in there. Uh, also, between the 14th and the 17th, you'll be uh, maybe struggling a bit, bit keeping the balance between outgoings and incomings. So that's uh, financial, but also energetically. Um, it could be a situation in which you feel controlled or manipulated. Uh, so you are trying to get control over something you perceive as a danger or a threat, which might not be at all. But there will be something there that definitely pushes your buttons between those dates. So whatever the context is, please, it's, there's no need to fall on your sword. Uh, in fact, it's as well to remember that true inner confidence doesn't require um, a loud display or, or, or anything melodramatic. Um, just, you know, stay in your power, act calmly and be constructive. Now from the 19th of the month you'll be socialising more, exchanging energies with others. Um, that's when Mars moves into this um, area of your chart to do with communications um, and education as well. Mars sometimes means, you know, you feel tense, you feel, feel irritable. So, yeah, yeah, that's a possible way it could pan out at times. But overall, the greatest emphasis is on fresh ideas, lots of good uh, input, things to think about, you know, to mull over, stuff to learn, plenty of encounters which require good communication skills and some diplomacy thrown in as well. Um, so, you know, the, the the sore point, the bone of contention about the finances, well, I think when Venus is buffering things and uh, bringing, a, a bringing a vibration of plenty into your financial area, um, even though it does have this very energy, uh, very heavy energy in it, it means that that's um, going to be a good time for you to use what you have, um, maybe apply for more from somewhere, or uh, take that thing off the shelf that that you know that work of art or or, or that novel, um, and that will be the time for you to actually start turning that into hard cash. So it's all about how you present yourself over the months to come, particularly, as I say, in August, and also your creations, your baby, your projects, something dear to your heart. Well, that's it for the month of August. If you know your rising sign, have a listen to that too.